Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Tech, and in today's video, let's unbox the new K5 Note from Lenovo and spend some hands-on time with it. Opening up the box, we've got the K5 Note itself, Lenovo's included a screen protector and a case here. Nice. Let's peel the plastic off and set it aside for the time being. We then have a micro USB cable, a travel adapter, a SIM ejector tool, and the regular reading material. For those interested, here are the SAR values. To the front, on top, we have the earpiece, sensors, and an 8MP front-facing camera. Below that, we have a 5.5-inch Full HD display, and finally, the capacitive keys are off backlit. The primary microphone and the OTG-enabled microUSB port can be found at the bottom. We have the power button on the volume rockers to the right, the 3.5mm headphone jack sits up top, and you find a tray to the left. This tray houses a dedicated SIM and a hybrid slot. To the back, we have the secondary noise cancelling microphone, a 13 megapixel rear camera with a dual LED flash, a fingerprint scanner, vibe branding, and the speaker. This fingerprint scanner feels responsive, not the fastest we've come across, but it works and can be used to wake the phone from sleep. Given that the K5 Note's made of metal, the pack's not user removable, and the larger 3500 mAh battery is sealed in. The K5 Note's slimmer than its predecessor at 8.5mm despite sporting a similar size display and a larger capacity battery. It's also narrower and that should help with ergonomics, but it is a tad heavier at 165 grams. Underneath the hood, the K5 Note is powered by a MediaTek Helio P10 chip. That's 8 Cortex A53 cores clocked up to 1.8GHz, coupled to the Mali-T860 MP2 GPU and 3 or 4 gigs of RAM. This K5 Note you see in this video is the 4 gig variant. By the way, both variants come with 32 gigs of onboard storage. The K5 Note runs on Android Marshmallow with Lenovo's new Vibe Pure on top. This interface is supposed to be streamlined to perform better, but I don't see anything new, it just feels like the same Vibe UI. Anyway, this phone came with a bunch of bloatware, thankfully Lenovo's made them uninstallable, and it's easy to uninstall as well. So a couple of seconds later, we have a much cleaner app list. So now quickly jumping into the camera, this interface is nothing new. The shutter response feels a tad slow. There aren't many options here. You can shoot 13 megapixel 4 to 3 images and record 1080p 30fps video. It's also worth noting that Theorem Max support is built in and VR is available as part of a bundle for just 500 rupees more. So with the K5 node, what you basically get is a metal build, an improved chip inside, double the storage, an extra gig of RAM, a larger capacity battery, an 8 megapixel front facing camera. But you do lose out on some things as well. A dual tone flash, front facing stereo speakers, a dedicated micro SD card slot, and Corning Gorilla Glass protection. At least this is what I've noticed so far. I really am not a fan of new phones lacking what the last generation had because it feels more like two steps forward and a step backward and it just doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, I will continue testing this phone out and will come out of the full review soon and I'll have more to say then. As I move to my outro, let me leave you with some sample shots taken with a 13 megapixel rear camera. So that's it for my quick unboxing and hands on, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, if you didn't, vote it down. And for more videos like this including the full review, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you do want to pick a K5 Note up, I'll leave a link in the description as well. Thanks a lot for watching, till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech, signing off, you guys have a great day, bye bye now.